Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Vasant and today we are going to learn about the Great War. The Great War of Kalinga. So, we are going to learn about the, the war, which is the, the Kalinga War. Okay, everyone. Kalinga War was fought by Kalinga and Ashoka, who was the Mauryan Empire. Ashoka was a very strong king. Kalinga was a very small country, but small kingdom, but it was very strong and prosperous. This is the uh, King Ash Ashoka. This is King Ashoka. He is um he is a very uh he he he's the one who conquered Kalinga, but due to his uh. But uh, Kaling when he was Kalinga, uh, he conquered Kalinga. But there were many effects. This is the Kalinga War. The Kalinga War was fought between the Mauryan Empire under Ashoka. Ashoka was the person who fought uh, the the Great Kalinga War. But he was also called Ashoka the Great. Uh, there was a fundamental republic located on the coast of the present day Indian state of of uh, Orissa and the northern parts of and Andhra Pradesh. The Kaling uh, the guys, guys the Kalinga city is the, uh, the Kalinga city was the capital uh, of the Kalinga kingdom. The Kalinga Kingdom was situated on the present day Shirukalam of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra, uh, it was situated on Andhra Pradesh Shilikam, Shri Kaliluyam. The the Kalinga War, the the uh, Kalinga was the was the only war that Ashoka fought. But after his accession to the throne. Uh, uh, after his accession to the throne, is this is one of the bloodiest battles in the history of wo the world. Kalinga put up a stiff uh, resistance, but uh, the Kalinga, Kalinga, uh, the great uh, the Kalinga kingdom was not no match for Ashoka's brutal strength. The bloodshed of this war is said to have. When when he when Ashoka finally won, this uh, Ashoka was very sad to see dead bodies of his army lying on the ground. So he uh, so after that he vowed to never do any war, and he it this promoted uh, Ashoka to uh, pro, uh, adopt Buddhism. However, he retained Kalinga. After his conquest and incorporated into the Mauryan Empire, that's how Ka Kalinga War uh, Ashoka won the Kalinga Kalinga War, but but was sad and made his way into Buddhism. So these were the consequences of Kalinga. These were the consequences of Kalinga. Con the consequences of Kalinga were the Kalinga war had a profound effect on the polities and personality of Ashoka. Uh, those, those were the death of and destruction of uh, caused by the Kalinga war pro made a great change in the personal and political life of Ashoka. He abandoned the policy of a uh, uh, constant by force um, and ambition also of victory in all directions. And, and he also embraced the, pol pro the policy of religion. The Kalinga changed Ashoka's personal life. He stopped hunting and eating meat and abandoned life of the love life of luxury. And also Ashoka declared Buddhism as the state religion. So uh, as we see here that Ashoka was victorious but also was very sad because of his 
because of his because of his people's deaths women children and everyone were killed in that war so many people it was said that um one uh, it was said that one lakh people died with ashoka and one and a half lakh uh, died in uh, in the kalinga the great kaling the kalinga uh, the kalinga area so um but ashoka was very very sad and then he decided to uh, make his uh, make in his state he made uh, he made the buddhism as the state religion and all the prisoners were in the war were used for agricultural work it this resulted in the increase of production and brought about the economy prosperity in his empire that is how he uh, how that after the prisoners were went to work ashoka made a lot of fortune and this increases his economy but he was still sad about his people so he banned hunting and he banned every uh, and banned everything which causes violence so uh, this is the end of the cycle uh, uh, so i ho- i hope you all enjoyed my slide show and i hope you all no i'll know more about the kalinga war from now from now and all so i hope you enjoyed it thank you